Hey, how's it going everyone? Just want to do um, a few quick lessons. You know, I haven't um, posted in a little while, but I made some notes on different topics I just want to talk about. And uh, a quick one um, that I've been thinking about a lot now in these days right now, like how there's so much lies out there. And um, I'm trying to understand like, what is the purpose of this? Like, it's just over the top now with just uh, the news feed and all that kind of stuff, you know, CNN, Fox, um, all the financial stuff, like it's, it's overwhelming and it's, you don't really have to be that spiritually discerned to see that there's an incredible amount of lies out there. And the one thing that I thought of that could be, again, one of the many reasons possibly, but to me, it's like, for those of us that are stuck in this generation, having to kind of live with these lies all around us, <clears throat> it does get us to kind of love the truth. You know, it's just, uh, it's this, this environment that, you know, when you're surrounded by this many lies, you start realizing, uh, and just for me, introspection, you know, how stupid, you know, lies are, you know, and uh, the big ones and the small ones and, and everything in between. So, you know, I just throw that out there for people who are wondering, you know, like, why, you know, uh, why are we drowning in so many lies? And, you know, I feel like um, one of the many things that, you know, um, God would, you know, redeem these times with is just a a pretty harsh lesson and you know the um, the effects of lying I really do think that <clears throat> that is it is the most sinister thing is to is to lie uh, even though I've done it many many times and will continue to do it uh, you know hopefully not that much but you know it's just um, <clears throat> it's to me it's the thing that God really can't deal with you know it's it's deception it's hiding things from him and, and that type of thing because well first of all he sees everything so it just from a practical perspective it doesn't make sense <clears throat> but you know it's just he's not if you just think of a parent you know you can't work with your kid or you know help them if, if they're not telling you certain things you know that they're dealing with um, or thinking about and stuff so <clears throat> you know all manner of sin uh, can, can be forgiven we have that in the scriptures except blaspheming the Holy Spirit uh, which to me is my understanding of that is just a, like a, doing a 180 like calling good evil and evil good and and pursuing that and and to me you have to be programmed to do that uh, that's not a natural inclination but um, so <clears throat> you know lies uh, this environment it's probably not that comforting but to me what I hear the spirit speaking to me saying that it's basically we're drowning in it to um, get us to love the opposite, which is truth.